Okay, no talking, no pillow fights, and no reading under the covers. But Mom, bedtime's boring. Yeah, there's nothing to do but lie here getting bored. Oh, hush. What about dreaming? What about it? Dad says dreaming is a period of elevated brain activity occurring during certain sleep phases. Elevated brain activity's boring. What? Didn't Daddy mention the winks? No. Who are they? The winks are little creatures who live in the land of dreams. It's their job to make sure all your dreams are of the very highest quality. All day long, they're tucked in bed. But at night, when you're fast asleep, they go to work. With their help, you can be whatever you want. A superhero, a robot, a beautiful fairy, or a clown. You can even be a monster. Can I be a ninja? Yes, but only if you're a nice ninja. But, Mom, sometimes I have a dream, and it's not like that at all. It's scary. Ah, well, those are the hoodwinks. They're the naughty ones. They make dreams, too, only their dreams are horrid. Don't worry. No matter how scary it seems, the goodwinks always come along and put things right. They tell off the hoodwinks and chase them away. But, Mom, what if something happened to the winks? Who'd save us from the hoodwinks then? Sweetheart, nothing is going to happen to them. But, Mom, what if? Well, you two would have to go and rescue them, wouldn't you? Yeah! Okay, you two, settle down now. Sweet dreams. Night, Mom. Oh, botheration! Where is that lazy good for nothing? Red Bear! Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Look at them all, reveling in their dreams, wallowing in the sleep of the innocent, mocking me with their nighttime flights of fancy. You rang Mr. Nightcap, sir? Threadbare, I am sorry. Did I wake you? No, master. Are you sure? You weren't just having a little snoozy woozy. No, a oh, great one. Good. That would be typical of you, indulging in your most basic desires for sleep, but I need you to carry out my audacious and brilliant plan. Plan, master? Yes, alert the hoodwinks. I want them to kidnap all the winks and lock them up. Sure. You heard, Threadbear. If I can't get a good night's sleep, then why should anyone else? From now on, sweet dreams have been cancelled. Don't worry, faithful friend. You may have failed me this time, but we're going to patch you up and you'll be better than ever. Better, leaner, tougher. Yeah. You're the killing machine. What are you? A grizzly bear killing machine. Yeah. Good. Now, what sort of patch do you want here? Hmm? Polka dot or floral? Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Here's the left one, your magnificence. Luckily for you, you didn't lose it. You have no idea how much these things cost. You run around in your own carefree world, selfishly oblivious to the consequences of your actions. And who's left to pick up the pieces, eh? Now, where's that eye? Oh, no. Oh, what have you broken? Um... Threadbear, are you in much pain? Just a little, oh master. Good! You messed up uh -oh. again, you don't! So, yes, they managed to foil me again. Hold still! This is a very delicate operation. Stapler! Stapler! Hmm. <laughs> I was close, though. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Spanner. Spanner. It's a good job we can laugh about this. Ho <laughs> oh, oh. ho. Mallet. Mallet. This might hurt a little. Hmm. I'm not sure it looks quite right, old leader. Hmm. Well, I can always let it out a bit at the crutch. No, I mean, it doesn't match the other one. The other teddies all laugh. No. Bad, oh, wicked oh. threadbare. Vanity is a sin. But most of... Enough! Sew your own leg on! <laughs> <laughs> I have good news and bad news, your greatness. Are our enemies vanquished, Threadbear? Uh, no, that's the bad news, Bill. But look, Master, the good news. Everything's where it should be. No. You'll thank me for that one day. Can't I just have a regular teddy on? There's nothing wrong with these ones, Mr. Picky. Ooh. Oh, but Master, that's like a monster claw. Oh, nonsense. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, that leg didn't look so bad, did it? Sort of distinguished. Threadbare! Hostile forces approach the very threshold of our innermost sanctum. Oh, come again. Those pesky kids are here. <gasps> We're not finished yet, mind. While you fritted away all those nights sleeping, I have been working on the ultimate weapon. Franken Teddy! Oh, magnificent, your sleeplessness. Our foes will be crushed while we sit back with our feet up. What do you mean, we? Who do you think's going to pilot it? Oh. Master, I'll defend you with the last breath in my body. Hmm. Of course you will. Now, off you go. They have beaten me, Master. I am undone. Threadbare, this whinging self-pity of yours is beginning to try my patience. Sorry, sir. Can I just say what a pleasure it's been serving you all these... Look, I really must be going. Wait, Master, please. Condemning the world to eternal nightmares was a noble goal, but fate has conspired against you. Perhaps the time has come to surrender. Never! Sir, I'm thinking only of you. Silence! Be gone! Yeah. Oh. Are you okay, mister? You! Come on then, have a go if you think you're tough enough. Duh! Uh, buh. No, thank you. It's the mean, grumpy one we're after. Oh, he's not so bad, you know. Deep down. Sure, he's a bit tetchy, but he's only ever mean to people smaller than himself. Really, he's just tired and grisly. What? Oh, yes. He's a different person after a good night's sleep. But why doesn't he just go to bed early? Oh, not with that terrible noise going on in his bedroom all night long. Tick tock. So that big clock in his house keeps him awake? All right, you should rest now. But don't you worry. We're here to send that grumpy nightcap to Betty Buys.
feel great. What a fantastic day! A hoodwink? Where did that come from, filthy vermin? You could get the better of old nightcap, eh? Well, you sleep tight. <laughs> and don't let those hoodwinks bite. <laughs> <laughs> Victory, Threadbear! Victory! <laughs> Threadbear! What? 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 Let me at him! Let me at him! We've won, you brainless stuffed animal! Oh. That's right! That's right! No one will be sleeping tonight! Oh, sweet dreams! <laughs> Sir! Sir! Just one minute, Threadbear. But, sir, I have great news. I said, just a second, Threadbear. Well, actually, you said just one minute, sir. What did you say? <laughs> We've triumphed. You got what you wanted. No one can save the Winks now. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Hmm. Well, no rest for the wicked. I have a sequel to start planning. Now, go away!